Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jordan Wade and this is my new channel. Uh, this is going to be a Christian based channel. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things like my testimony, maybe sermons that other preachers have preached, maybe that um, I really liked or maybe um, just kind of spoke to me. Um, be answering some questions that you guys may email me or uh, leave in the comments, whatever it may be. But for the first video, I wanted you guys to know um, my testimony. I wanted you to know how I became a believer, how um, you know I came to know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So it kind of started in the year of 2016. Um, I had really just been partying, been gone downhill, I've been doing things that I wasn't supposed to be doing, um, and knew that I wasn't supposed to be doing them, but I did them anyways because I was I was really kind of sounds cliche, but seeking to fill a void. Um, for some reason, I just wasn't happy, and I wanted to be happy, and I thought if I could get all these things, um, I would be happy, but I found out that I wasn't happy. I was actually more miserable than I was before. So with that, um, as I began to realize what I was doing was wrong, um, and that I was still miserable. I actually developed depression and suicidal thoughts, and I battled that. So, I mean, that is a real thing. Like, I battled that on a daily basis, and um, I really didn't tell anyone about that until after I was saved, after um, I shared it, because I was kind of embarrassed by it, to be honest. But, um, so, I... Uh, I got saved. I was at a friend's house um, and just kind of walked in, realized what I was doing, um, that I needed to change my life around. Um, and I knew of God. I didn't know God, but I knew of God. And I kind of, I just got down on my knees and I just prayed to God, you know, just a basic sinner's prayer. I was just saying, you know, God, I, I realized that I have sinned and I fall short of your glory, Lord. Um, if you exist, you know, at this time I was questioning his existence, but I said, if you exist, please come into my life, Lord. I want you to just change me. I, I, I just want anything done besides what I can do with it. Um, I, you know, I'm just kind of handing it over to you, kind of like a Jesus take the wheel concept. Um, but so I gave my life to the Lord and I made the promise. I said, Lord, if you just take control of my life and lead me, I will follow even if it takes me to the ends of the earth. Um, so I was saved July 3rd, 2016, baptized August 28th of 2016, and have been um, you know, a believer ever since. I've been a Christian ever since. Actually, I've, I'm in a 10-month unpaid internship um, at my church right now, studying um, at Clear Creek Baptist Bible College um, to get a bachelor's in arts and ministry um, because I actually want to go into ministry. I mean, like God took me out of... Um, out of my sins and, and he's using me and um, when I said that prayer of God you know even if it takes going to the ends of the earth I will follow you I knew no scripture I didn't know anything about the Great Commission at the time I just said you know if if there's a God who can do this if there's a God who will better my life if there is a God who will just take control of this and take this depression away you know I, that's a God I want to serve that's a God I want to follow and God delivered me from those things. And to be honest, I, I have followed him almost to the ends of the earth. I, I went to Mongolia. I mean, I'm from Kentucky uh, to Mongolia. It's like 14 hours time, tra you know, 14 hours traveling. That's a lot. But not only did I go once, but I went twice. And I'm not boasting because the only way that I was actually able to go, actually able to afford it, was because of God. Because he stepped in. Because I couldn't afford it both times. But God stepped in. He provided for those opportunities. I'm a firm believer that if we are in the will of God and we're willing, that God will not only empower us and make us capable of doing these things, that we may be um, either uneducated or maybe just um, not able to do those things on our own mindset or our own strengths, but we can do them off of God's and He will enable us and strengthen us and He will provide the needs that's necessary to get the job done. Um, so God has been faithful to me. Amen. Um, a little bit further, like I said, I'm 10 months into an internship and this was unpaid. So here I am 10 months in. I think I've only, I've been working a part-time job maybe... I would say five months of the of the ten, um, and God has provided. I, I haven't lost my uh, electric yet. Um, my water has been shut off once. Uh, I was halfway across the world. I couldn't pay it, um, but I haven't missed a meal. I haven't gone hungry at all. Um, my church family has just provided so much, received so many donations that are, have just been blessings. It's not just money in disguise, but it's it's been a blessing. It's been coming in the time that I needed, even when I doubt God. 
even when I doubt that he's going to step into the situation, he still does. Um, that's how um, sovereign a God. How, that's how sovereign and great a God we serve is that even when we doubt Him, He'll still step in. He doesn't just leave us abandoned. Um, because when He died on the cross for our sins, you know, He really wanted that relationship with us, and there's nothing that's going to break that desire for Him. Hopefully, um, one one of these days going to be going into youth ministry full-time. I've been leading a small group now going on for two years. Um, went from middle school uh, to high school on leading, um, and it has just been a great experience um, at my local church. I'm so thankful for them and so thankful that they took the time to disciple me and to invest into me to get me to the point to where I'm at now, to where I can disciple others and still be discipled, guys. Still be discipled. Um, but this is my first video. Uh, like I said, this is my testimony. Uh, please tell me a little bit about your testimonies. Email me a video. Email me um, a paragraph, whatever it may be, your story. I want to know it because I want to know what God is doing in other people's lives. That's one of the biggest joy boosts for me is when I hear what God is doing in someone else's life. And I can just be at awe in God's glory and saying, God, not only are you working in me, but you're working in everyone else as well. But at this time, please like, subscribe to my channel. Um, it is called The Average Christian um, just because I think we're called to be more than an average Christian. Uh, but we'll get into that a little bit more into another video. But at this time, please enjoy. Thanks. Thanks.